Mohamed Morsi, I take it, he's still under arrest. Is he in jail right now? He is in a secure facility. He's been accused uh, formally by the courts, and the Attorney General has pro processed his, pa his papers to the court system. So that, what is he go... accused of? What did he do? Well, again, they ha they are still investigating how many charges will be made against him, but the ones that I'm aware of relate to incidents in front of the palace uh, while he was president, uh, instructions he gave to the security forces to deal with demonstrators, and there were other accusations regarding uh, issues in the Sinai. But let's leave that to the courts. So when the president of the United States says, as he just said, that uh, certain military systems that Egypt has ordered from U.S. defense contractors will not be delivered, that's a pretty significant development. He didn't say they won't be delivered. He said that we, they will deliver them as we implement the we won't, he said, we have not proceeded uh -huh. with the delivery of certain military systems. You continue to see that. He said that their support will be dependent on... And our support will exactly. depend upon Egypt's progress in pursuing a more democratic path. That's our objective. So we have a nine-month uh, roadmap to establish the attendance of a, uh, of a democratic system, a new, a new constitution, a parliamentary election, potential election. That's our objective. Whether there was an aid package or not, that was our commitment. So I'm not worried, frankly, about that because we intend to do that. So the, the billion and a half, whatever, the U.S. aid package that goes to Egypt every year, is that still going to Egypt right it's now? It's still, my understanding is, it's still allocated to Egypt. The uh, uh, payment of those, of those funds to purchase certain equipment, that's a decision taken by the U.S. government in, in consultations with their Egyptian counterpart. But that's, again, we're talking about since we're in September now, the new budget uh, uh, for next year. The, I guess the argument, of the, the concern that so many Obama administration officials have and others have as well, Morsi, whether you liked him or not, he was democratically elected. So was Hitler. So you're comparing Morsi to Hitler? No, I'm not. But what I'm saying is that it's not about how you're elected. It's what you do after you're elected. President Obama himself said that Morsi did not uh, govern inclusively. That's the essence of democracy. Do you accept others or not? So because then the military steps in and they remove Morsi, and that, to a lot of Americans, looks like a military coup. The military stepped in in 2011 in response to the people. President Mubarak resigned in light of that, and they continued to govern for a year and a half, and you did not consider it to be a coup. When they stepped in in 2013, they governed for less than three days and headed over to a civilian government. That's the essence of, did they seize power and govern? They did not. They responded to the street to prevent chaos, and then they handed it over to the civilian government. While you're here in the United States, will you be meeting with U.S. officials, the Secretary of State, John Kerry? I already did, my first day of arrival. Yeah, and how did Sunday. that meeting go? It was in, in the spirit of the relationship. It's a constructive, straightforward, frank relationship. We discuss things where we agree upon and things which we disagree upon and explain to each other the different contexts. We discuss every, everything from Egypt to Syria to the peace process in the Middle East, uh, and we will continue to do that. So how would you describe in a word the U.S.-Egyptian relationship right now? I think it's as uh, engaged as ever. It's, of course, dealing with a lot of sensitive issues, particularly the domestic situation in Egypt and the Syrian file.